Hello designers, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a very basic GIF animation. We are going to be using very basic custom shapes and gradients to illustrate our animated GIF. The first step is to create new. And since we're creating an animated GIF, we're obviously going to select the web presets. Then I'm going to select web minimum because I want it to be a fairly small size. And I'm going to call this file animated GIF and click create. I'm going to reset my workspace real quick because I see that I got rid of some stuff and I want my layers to be visible. I actually want them to be front and center. So what I'm going to do is actually create seven layers. So at the bottom of your layers panel, you guys are going to see an icon with a plus sign on it. So I'm going to click on it until I have seven blank layers. Then I'm basically going to start from layer one and go up. So layer one is going to be my background. And then I'm going to go in rainbow go order going up. So one is going to be red, the next is going to be orange, then yellow, then green, and so forth. You don't need to go in rainbow order. That's just the way that I'm choosing to do it here. You guys can approach it in any order you want to. For my background layer, I actually just want to apply a solid color that is going to be visible in every frame of my animated GIF. So I'm going to go to edit and fill and under contents, I'm going to select color and I'm just going to pick maybe like a navy blue. I want it to be a dark color. I don't want it to be black, but I want it to be like a dark color so that all of the work that I'm going to be doing in all the other layers really stands out. Let me actually zoom in to make it easier for you guys to view. Okay, now I'm going to select my red layer. So I'm starting backwards. I'm starting from the bottom layer and working upwards. And what I want to do is I want to illustrate this animated GIF with a custom shape. To find my custom shapes, I'm going to go to my toolbar and count three up. So from my zoom tool, I'm counting one, two, and three. And here are my shape tools. If I right click on my shape tools, I can see that nested underneath rectangle, ellipse, triangle, and all these other basic tools is my custom shape tool. And my custom shape tool basically has a bunch of different symbols that are saved as shapes for me to use in any given project. Before I start dragging out some shapes, I want to go and select pixels from the drop down menu in the options bar. So by default, you guys will see it set to shape, but I don't want it to be set to shape. So in the options bar with the custom shape tool selected, I'm going to go and click on the drop down menu and select pixels. Having selected pixels, the next thing is to actually go and select the shape I want to use. So I was looking under the flowers menu and I found one that I think I would like to use for this project. You guys can select from any of the menus you have available. Check back in another tutorial where I'm going to show you guys how you can also upload new shapes for the menus on Photoshop. But for now I'm going to use a flower one and I'm going to click and drag to make that flower. You can see by default it's filled with this blue because that's what I had selected earlier in the swatches but it's not going to show up in my final animation because what I intend to do is make a selection of the flower and fill each selection with a gradient. So here's what I mean. I just dragged out the flower. I'm going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail for that layer in the layers panel. And when I click control and click on the thumbnail, you'll see that there's now a selection 
around that flower so that with my gradient tool I can now go into the gradient picker I'm going to select from my reds so I'm selecting from my red preset and then I can click and drag to create a really beautiful red gradient now I still have that selection made so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the orange layer and then go back to the gradient picker go to my orange presets select an orange gradient and fill the selection with an orange and I'm going to continue doing that I'm not going to get rid of the selection until I'm pretty much done so now I clicked on my yellow layer and I'm going to go and fill this with a mostly yellow gradient assuming there is one I'll just use an orange no big deal now to my greens and basically I'm repeating my steps notice I have never gotten rid of my selection this will make it easier for me as I continue filling up different frames in my animation Okay, as you can see from my layers panel, every single layer now has some kind of content. So if I make each layer invisible, you can see all the colors of gradients that I have applied to each layer. Because I have filled each layer with a gradient to fill in this flower, I'm good and I can just click Control D to get rid of this selection because I no longer need it. I'm just going to go and shift it up a little bit because it was a little bit out of scale, but that's okay. So now I'm ready to create the actual animation. I'm going to open my timeline panel by going to window and timeline. And in the event that you guys cannot see the little box that says create frame animation, you guys are going to click on the drop down menu and select create frame animation. We're not going to work with video. We're going to select create frame animation and literally you have to click inside that button. And you'll see that one of the layers was added as basically a um, a frame in your animation. But I want to tell Photoshop to add all the layers. So I'm going to go to the horizontal bars at the end of my timeline panel and I'm going to select make frames from layers and then I'm going to pick preview to see my animation so far I can see that I'm previewing my animation I made a mistake with how I created the background layer so it should have been showing underneath the, each flower but that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of this background layer altogether. So I'm going to click on that frame in the timeline panel and I'm going to click on the little garbage can icon to delete it. And now I won't see that frame anymore. I'll just see the flowers every time that I click play to preview my animation. Now you can see my animation was going pretty fast. I want to click on each frame one by one and slow down my animation by clicking 0.2 seconds for each frame. Then I'll be able to select how often my animation will play. So I can select do only once and select three times forever and if I click on other I can select how many times I want it to play but I really don't really want to play around with those options I just I'm gonna select forever and then preview again and I I like the way that I slowed it down so I can actually appreciate it a little more so now I'm ready to export my final draft 
to export my final draft, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to File, Export, and Save for Web. From the presets, I'm going to select GIF 128. And now one of the limitations of a GIF file is that it only supports 128 colors, but that's okay because, again, we're just making a very basic animation. If I had forgotten some of the animation options, like how many times I wanted to play, I could go and fix that here. If I wanted to lower the image size, I could do so as well. But I'm going to ignore all those options for now. I want to click Save. And I'm going to call it Animated GIF. And save it to my desktop. And it animates beautifully. So that is how to make a very basic animation from a custom shape. I hope you guys enjoyed and go ahead and submit your final draft to Canvas and I can't wait to see what you guys make. Peace out.